Hey, what's happening guys? Happy Tuesday to you. At least I think it's Tuesday when I'm publishing this video. It's actually Sunday when I'm making it, but you know how it goes. Anyway, what I got for you today is this. This is the Lux Pro Camping Slash Emergency Lantern LP368. This is uh, not a review video. I actually bought this from one of my absolute favorite places the dollar store this is actually from family dollar we have two dollar stores here in town dollar general and family dollar so supposedly it is 120 lumens three modes high low and hidden strobe well i mean there's high there's low there's off and then if we hold the button we get the hidden strobe so Let's turn off the ambient lighting I've got going on here. Not really ambient lighting, it's actually my desk lighting. And we'll power up the uh, light meter, which is in Lux. You guys can see that pretty well there. And we'll put that into um, maximum mode. And we'll stick that right there and uh, turn it on. And we'll see what kind of reading we get. 4563 Lux. So that's pretty bright. What is it in, in uh, lumens? I didn't do the math. Uh, lumens are what, Lux per, per meter squared? Figure it out on your own if you want. It's bright. So this thing has got a, I know you can't tell, rubberized coating on it. It's got this nice uh, little, you know, hangy handle there. Whole thing's rubberized. It's got like a quarter twist remove for the bottom cover. Works on three AA batteries. And yes, of course, we're going to take it apart. And it looks like there are three little screws in there that hopefully I can get a bit down into. Let me do that, and we'll be right back. All right, got the screws out. And that's about as far as that comes out. Okay. Let's see, what else could we do? Come on out. That doesn't want to go any further, and I can feel it pushing on the button. Maybe a LED. Huh. Don't worry, this is coming apart. Okay, well, found another screw. Which it doesn't want to focus on it seems there we go hiding under the top so we'll get that guy out of there oh so now that comes out like that okay so we've got two like of the uh, gelatinous cob type lights there And here's our circuit board. Is is there oh no 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 here's the circuit board. Alright, how am I gonna get it out? Yeah, they don't really want anybody messing around inside of here, but uh they weren't counting on us. We'll get some solder and uh, I'm just going to unsolder this joint here. The reason I'm going to add solder to it is because chances are it's uh, lead free. And 
and lead free solder is frankly crap. There we go. Circuit board removed and it'll be easy to reinstall. More screws, man. I'll tell you what. These people were serious. That's a... Uh, yeah, I'm, yes, I am holding the part that I just unsoldered, and it is quite warm. Thanks for noticing. We can handle it, though. But can we focus? Yes. Yes, we can. So, here is our circuit, and there's the chip. I think I can almost read the chip. Let me, uh... Let me have a look at that under a microscope. You can look under the microscope here with me. And there's the end that we desoldered going to the LED, followed by a resistor, our attack switch, and there's that 8-pin chip, which I thought we were going to be able to read, but no, it's obliterated. It's got a bypass cap on it, a resistor, a diode, and then it's going out to the cob. So really, really simple circuitry there. All right, I thought we could uh, hook these cobs up to the power supply here. And uh, let's see if I can get everything in the picture. Okay, there we go. So we're set for one volt, 40 milliamps. We powered up, and sure, we're not going to get anything. Let's take it up to two volts. Nothing. Actually, that's four milliamps. That's probably the problem. <laughs> Okay, so there's 50 milliamps. At 2 volts, we're still not getting anywhere. Okay, where are we, where are we turning on? So there's 2.3 volts. Alright, they are on. At 2.36 volts. 2.4 volts. Here, let me turn off some more of these lights here. Two five, two six, and you can see we're at a point two nine amp, two seven, two eight, two nine, three volts. We've got our current limiting coming in, so let's take that up a little bit. There's 100 milliamps at 2.78 volts. Two hundred milliamps we're putting out over half a watt. And those are still those are still relatively cold. There, just so I'm not blind and you hold my hand over that a little bit. Let's go up to 250. We're still there, so we're going to have to take our voltage up a little. Okay, so at 4.10, now we'll take our, our current up. Wow. We got 1.65 watts, almost a half an amp. Those are still cool. Let's see at this uh, power setting what kind of light output we're getting. So we'll turn on the meter. I will put it into max hold mode. Oh, 
and I will also take off the cup. So 1383, so we know we can take more. So let's go amps. There we go up to 900 milliamps. And that brings us up to 18. Let's take our voltage up. Six volts. And that's bringing our light output up to 23. What were we at before? Um, 45. So we're only halfway there. Let's go again. Let's take let's take our current up. Boom. There's a uh, 1.2 amps. Take our voltage up. Okay, so the voltage is being current limited. And we'll go up again. Let me block that. I'm sorry. Look at that. We're up to almost almost 8 watts. Let's take it up to 8 watts. So at 8 watts, we're at 53.45. I shut that off. Don't worry. And they are starting to get warm. Not hot, not warm. So, obviously it's a nice little camping light. Nothing much more to say about that. But, these little cob boards, putting out 8 watts of light, that's pretty nice. And I think that's the beauty of this. And I think I'm going to use those in an upcoming project. So that's pretty cool from the dollar store. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. And big thanks to you for watching. This channel wouldn't be where it was without you. Hey, don't forget, on September 3rd, we're giving away an ANANG multimeter from our friends at Banggood. I'll put a link below to the video you need to watch and comment on to enter. That's it. I am out. Peace.